Hey guys, thanks for checking out my video. We're going to use computer assisted morphometric analysis in the image J program to batch process a bunch of image files. In this case, we've got projectile points. The link for the actual files that I'm using is going to be in the comments below. So go ahead and download that if you haven't already. Also, check out my other videos if you don't know how to create this particle analysis and this data right here. We went through in previous videos and generated macro code already. So we can just copy this bad boy. You can either select it and right click and then click copy or you can just press control C. It's the same thing. Go to process batch macro and then paste that sucker in. Remember to select an input folder. If this is the first time using it, it will be blank. Uh, also put an output folder. You don't want it being saved in the same folder there. And once you have set those up with the output format and everything that you want, you can either Test this if it's your first time. Just make sure that it's processing correctly. And I'm going to go ahead and see the process bar working up there in the image J toolbar. And here in the summary window, we're getting the data from each of the files in the folder that I selected. Okay, once the program is done analyzing each of the images. We want to go and make sure that the macro was working the way we wanted it on all of the images. So go ahead and open up your output folder. And we're just going to open up these images and check them one by one. You can see from the other videos, this is the same image processed it the same way and that's what we want and so here we have other uh, the other images that we were working on and one of the great things about this computer assisted morphometric analysis is it really doesn't matter which direction the projectile point is facing it will, it will get the same data I'm doing good here and there aren't any anomalies showing up any big patches uh, the primary object is the projectile point and that's what we wanted to get data about so we can be fairly confident that the numbers that we got in the summary pane are actually the data that we wanted to collect and so you can also double check that each of your images are producing the data you want by uh, checking the count here. If you had multiple items in one image, to, to find that out, but you can see if we just have one. All right, and you've batch processed some files. Congratulations, thanks for watching.